today we are visiting a place which serves a goan meal so sublime those who eat it even once never forget it but the 200 year old savoy plantation is much more than just a place to eat great goan food it is a living museum of the fruit nuts flowers leaves stems barks and roots that go into goan saraswat cuisine equally Savoy Plantation is a living museum of the tools and implements used in a traditional Goan kitchen, lovingly preserved by the Shetier family over six generations. And this family will show you one of a kind hospitality. Savoy Plantation is spread over twenty-five acres, deep in the hills above the Mandovi River, near Savoy Vere village in northeastern Fonda Taluk. The nearest big market is Marshall. From Panjim, you can follow the Panjim Bangini Fonda Highway to Marshall Market. But for the more picturesque route, stick close to the Mandovi River. It's a 40-minute drive to Savoy Plantation from Panjim by either route. Follow the Mandovi River upstream from Panjim past Ribandar to Old Goa. Cross the Gandauli Marshall Bridge and continue to Marshall Market. Turn left after the market onto the Betki Volvoi Savoy Vere Road, back in the direction of the Mandovi River. At one point, this road touches the bank of the Mandovi. This is Volvoi. Soon after comes the right turn to Savoy Plantation, which comes well before you reach Savoy Vere Village. From the south, Margao and Fonda side. Drive via Kerry to Savoy Vere and continue past Savoy Vere village towards Volvoi to reach the turn off for Savoy plantation. Here's a view of the turn off approaching from the Margao Fonda Kerry side and the short drive to the plantation from there. And this is the view from Savoy Plantation's parking area. A beautiful spring-fed tole within the plantation, lined with blooming heliconia, framed by coconut trees and elegant areca palms. Almost completely hidden by all this greenery is the plantation, whose beauty will turn your head in all directions. Hello, people. I have come here many times over the years and it is always a pleasure to visit Savoy with different plants and trees flowering and fruiting depending on the season. On my last visit it was nutmeg and may season. This was mid July 2023, the heaviest monsoon period when I went to Savoy with my friends Maria and Viola. It is an even greater pleasure to walk through Savoy with Viola. who intimately knows every plant and tree that grows in goa and all the birds in these skies on the way in from the gate viola points out birds eye chili plants passion fruit vines and a beautiful red ornamental dwarf banana plant just before we enter the kitchen and dining area she spots huge pepper vines and water trapping heliconia The Saraswat hospitality begins as soon as you enter the plantation's kitchen and dining area with a welcome platter of kokum drinks, homemade chakrios and savoy kaju bio, fire roasted the traditional way. Cheers. Wow, welcome kokum drink. Kokum which is grown here. Huh? Mm. Then we set off for the walk through the plantation led by Baburao Shetty or simply Sachin to family and friends. Sachin, a sixth generation Shetty, farms the plantation. 
His mother Shalan and wife Seema prepare the fantastic Saraswat meal served here. The plantation tour is a barely half hour gentle walk along which Sachin will introduce you to many of the core ingredients of Goan cuisine which grow here. Some of these are farmed, some grow wild and are collected for certain recipes. Each discovery of ingredients in their natural setting will serve to whet your appetite for the meal to follow. Think the size of the crotons. Mm. We were stopping so often to examine the fruits, nuts and roots more closely that we fell behind Sachin and the group. Thankfully, Viola pointed out many interesting flora for us, including two parts of the elephant. This is elephant ear and this is elephant foot yam, which grows wild in the hills of Goa in the monsoon. What? Yeah, tikki. See, this is a bay leaf and the bark is cinnamon, tikki. These are more sipari trees. We have fallen arica nuts here. Wow. That is a nutmeg tree full of nutmegs. From top to bottom, you can see how many nutmegs and so nutmeg gives you two different types of spices. One is the nut, and the other one is javitri, the mace, as it is called. This is all turmeric, no? This is all turmeric, yes. And here, lovely fresh is, turmeric. This is aru. taro. Taro. So, look at the champa tree. It is so huge. Wow, yeah. This is my friend Babu Shetty. Is beautiful. Oh man, this is their sacred spring. How beautifully he has lined it with croton plants. Lots of bananas here. Thick banana plantation. What we are crossing is a little seasonal waterfall. See the absolutely clear water. Sachin points out a pagoda ant's nest. Last time you've seen, I think. Ants. Ants. They make it from cow dung, huh? Oh. Wow! Yeah. Some more beautiful sights. Krishna Chakra. Ixora, which also grows wild in Goa's hills. Heart of Jesus. Pomelo, the largest variety of citrus fruits. Red ginger. Guavas, which travel to Goa from Latin America along with cashew nuts. Vanilla plants, an orchid variety. These are just a few vignettes of this massive plantation. Depending on the time of year you visit, you will see cloves, allspice, kokum, tefla, and other flavorings and spices flowering and fruiting. As we walk through looking all around and below, Viola reminds us to keep looking upward too at the beautiful tree canopies. One place where the Totally up vertical view is just fantastic. That taken. Shells also we are using for calcium enrichment, like eggshells and all people are using. Besides pointing out the plants, Sachin also educates us on how the organic garden waste is utilized to make chemical free compost and fertilizer. Maria! Hi. Feeling hungry? Good. Lots to eat over here now. Fantastic food. Huh? Walking to our done, we are back at the plantation's dining area and raring to eat. We were super hungry and super excited because we knew that Savoy Plantation would never disappoint. While Sachin ready is the buffet style meal, we take a look at the lovingly preserved ancestral kitchen tools decorating the dining area which contribute to making Savoy Plantation a museum of Goan cuisine. We were moved to see the Holy Family and this well-preserved artwork of our Lord here in this Saraswat home. 
This is Sachin's ethos, his going car pawn. He does not believe in divisions but in one family of all living beings, human, animal and plant, and our duty of care towards each other and our surroundings. Yeah. Viola points out the eco-friendly roofing and thatching of the kitchen and dining area. And this eco-sensitivity is especially seen in the kitchen implements from a bygone era. The meal starts in the way of traditional Goan hospitality with a glass of cashew feni distilled at Savoy Plantation. See how coconut and koya have been used to make this feni bottle. Even the plates used here, Viola explains, are made from the ribs of the leaves of areca palms and are biodegradable, unlike use and throw plastic and styrofoam plates. This is a very eco-friendly way of, you know, instead of plastic use and throw. Yeah. This is... Savoy Plantation is showing the way to offer Goan hospitality without harming the environment. This eco-sensitivity extends even to the baskets on which the food is brought out and the platters on which it is served. Which brings us to what we've been waiting for. We have been dreaming of this moment all along the way from Banaule to Savoy Vere. Everything has whetted our appetite. The rich aroma of wet earth in the monsoon forests. The spices and vegetables we saw on the walk through the plantation. The fruits and nuts fallen on the ground. I told you, you'll never forget the food you have here. One of the best in the world. Maria's favorite Tindli. <laughs> Let's show you what we were served that day. Never take that rice. This one, going rice is much better. Chapati, dal, ghonta sasam, ambade raita, green banana and potato kodis. This is beautiful seasonal jackfruit seed. The jackfruit seeds and jackfruit gore. So, banana flower vegetable. Kindly bhaji, I be called. And this is a um, kurma of banana and kidney beans. Very tasty. Oh, and this is the beautiful Saraswat prawn curry, chicken curry. Wow, rubber fried chonak, beautiful rubber fried prawns. This is kingfish, and this is shetuk. We will find out the English name and tell you also. And the pickle. Mango, garlic, green chili and sweet lime pickle. What a feast. We are really going to enjoy today. This is one of the best meals in Goa. If not the best. Now Viola will show you how to get a taste of everything. First, some ukde sheet. A chapati, ghonta sasau, ambade raita. The dal and curd have been safely ignored. A green banana and potato fodi each. Ponos and ponsachi bikna. Some raw banana bhaji and a little tainly bhaji. That veg kurma is a must try. Ah, now some beautiful prawn and drumstick curry. Some Saraswat chicken shakote. Some beautifully fried chonak and prawns. Some kingfish. And a variety of delicious pickles to round off her plate. And this is soul curry with coconut milk. Maria is not very hungry today, it looks like. Let's start off with a tot of strong cashew feni. Now, let's feast. One thing I love about Savoy Plantation is here we get to try Saraswat homestyle bhajis which are so delicious, yet which restaurants seldom serve in Goan thalis. These thalis tend to favour bhendi, tenli and tamdi bhaji. 
most people throw away the banana flour but here at Savoy they make a delicious saraswat style bhaji from banana flour ambade and banana flour among my favorite things to eat and whenever ambade is fruiting it is served here at Savoy The cost of the entire experience from welcome drink to plantation tour and traditional saraswat meal is rupees 1200 per head rupees 1300 on saturdays and sundays and half for children aged 4 to 10 years visits to savoy plantation must be booked at least a day in advance what a prawn curry this is booked by sachin bhai khan He says for his mother, making food for like thirty people or hundred people, nothing for. Intermittently, there is deafening background noise from the rain. That's why we had to turn off the volume of some of these clips and do voiceover. My favorite Monta Sasam. See what we mean by the rain's volume. Monta Sasam to die for. It's one of the best I've had in my life. I think the previous best was Savoy yeah. Plantation only. Sasam requires hand eating. There is one gentleman yeah, now who hand. keeps commenting on our channel that why are you eating with hands? So I would advise him not to come to Savoy Plantation. How how do you say? Okay, cool. You are really sweet, huh, Sachin? Very nice guy. Joel Goin loves his mati, his soil. Whenever I call him and I tell him I'm coming, na, he knows I love Ambadi. So uh, either you have ambade raita or ambade karam made. Even if you think you may think it's not in season. A trip to Savoy Plantation can be made into a whole day's outing. I like to take my guests to see the churches of Old Goa and the beautiful, unique Devki Krishna Temple at Mashail before heading east to Savoy Plantation. Already hungry from sightseeing. They get even more hungry walking through the plantation, knowing that they will soon eat a meal prepared from the plants they are discovering. Sometimes, after having lunch here, we rest a while and then go for a lovely boat ride to spot crocodiles in the Kumbalchua Canal. So I bring people here because, in one place, I can show them a lot about what is Goa about: the land, the produce, the food. I have often come across big groups from Pune, Satara and Kolhapur who have come here to eat when visiting the temples of Honda. We bumped into an interesting group of Mumbaikers who have been friends since childhood and were holidaying in Goa together. So this is a group of friends from Bombay. How did you like how do you like the food over here? Fantastic, excellent. 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 The home food So yeah. Beautiful. It's a totally different food, and we enjoy it a lot. We never nice. had before. Like, It's something different. Even I used to visit Goa earlier, so never had this this kind of. Food. That's it. See what they are saying, and you'll understand from what they are saying that if you really want to see Goa, sometimes you have to leave the beach and come inland towards the yeah, yeah. and especially towards the ghats of Goa. The food is just sublime. Absolutely. Actually, the whole experience has been almost surreal. The tour of the plantation, excellent, very knowledgeable person and dedicated person, Mr. Sachin. We really felt quite enlightened. Viola said, "The testament of a good meal is how little one talks while eating, and how clean your plate is at the end." So, from that point of view, let's see Viola's plate. Fantastic. And that Viola's full complimenting Savoy plantation. <laughs> After a healthy and homely rice pudding dessert, we say goodbye to the Shetiers for now and take off on the beautiful drive home. We'll be back at Savoy plantation very soon to treat ourselves to another monsoon season meal 
in one of Goa's greatest kitchens of all time.